Hello, I'm Kimberly Acosta. Welcome to the Native News Update. It's Friday, March 11th. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at our website, IndianCountryNews.com. Here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native News sources. The North Dakota Senate has voted to order the University of North Dakota to keep its Fighting Sioux nickname. Senators voted 28 to 15 on March 11th to approve a bill that requires the university to keep the nickname and logo that shows a profile of an American Indian warrior. The House already passed the measure and a spokesman for the governor says he will sign the bill. The NCAA considers the Fighting Sioux nickname hostile to American Indians and has prompts promised sanctions against UND if the school keeps the name. School officials worry that the dispute will complicate the school's plans to join the NCAA's Division I Big Sky Conference next year. Handheld video games may help Lucino tribal members restore their traditional language as tribal members and local professors devise a novel approach to teach the ancient language on Nintendo devices. The Puma Band of Lucino have provided a $50,000 grant to Cal State San Marcos' College of California Indian Cultural and Sovereignty Center and Palomar College's American Indian Studies Department to create Lucino language cartridges for the video games. The cartridges will be distributed to members of the tribe's seven bands in Riverside and San Diego counties. The first $40,000 of the grant will go towards the university's efforts to develop the game cartridges while $10,000 will support language workshops at the college. An American Indian-owned technology company, Nevada-based Thornton Media Inc., is creating cartridges that would combine words, songs, letters, and images in Lucino language. A series of four handbooks entitled Developing Your Vision While Attending College has been co-developed by the American Indian College Fund and the National Endowment of Financial Education. The four handbooks take students step by step through the process of deciding to go to college and, once enrolled, teach them about financial aid and money management. For Native American students, the series uniquely promotes success in college by featuring stories of personal struggle and shows how educational and cultural act success is intertwined. The handbooks are available on the fund's website at collegefund.org. Two Anishinaabe grandmothers and a group of Anishinaabe women and men have taken action regarding the water issue by first walking the perimeter of the Great Lakes. The journey began as they walked around Lake Superior in the spring of 2003, around Lake Michigan in 2004, Lake Huron in 2005, Lake Ontario in 2006, Lake Erie in 2007, Lake Michigan again in 2008, and the St. Lawrence River in 2009 their mission to raise awareness about our water. Josephine Mandaman, the Anishinaabek Women's Water Commissioner, will begin her next water walk in April, this time starting walks in different directions. Water will be carried from the Arctic, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans, as well as the Gulf of Mexico, to a point in Minnesota. Yesterday, I got the chance to catch up with Josephine and talk about the upcoming walk and the importance of water. Hello, I'm yeah. Kimberly Acosta, and we're here with Josephine Madaman, and she's an elder from Canada who's doing a walk. Can you share with us about that? The ocean water that we're bringing to the to the center of uh, where 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 it all started in 2003, which is in uh, Cedar Cedar Michigan, not Cedar, not Cedar Michigan, Cedar Wisconsin, and uh, at the midday school. And we're bringing the water, the salt water, from the four directions: the Pacific, the uh, Arctic, the Atlantic, and the Gulf of Mexico. They will all come together at uh, on June twelfth at uh, Saxon, Wisconsin. And uh, but they're starting different dates. And uh, the first one is going to be April the the tenth in uh, in the West Coast, Aberdeen, with Washington. And we'll be walking with the water. Send off will be on that date, and from there I'll be walking for about ten days with them. And then I'm, I'll move to the Gulf of Mexico on the twentieth of April, and then I'll be with them for about uh, about nine nine days, nine days nine or ten days, and then I'll be going to uh, the East Coast 
to start to send off there in the East Coast and the Atlantic Ocean, um, Pacific Ocean, I mean the Atlantic Ocean, getting my oceans mixed up. And then after that, then we'll, we'll do the, the North, the North, uh, which is the, uh, the Hudson Bay, Churchill, Manitoba, the salt water being the salt water there. So those four directions will, will come together at some point in time on June the 12th, and we're all going to converge at the same time and bring the water in at the same time and have a, a water ceremony there in, at, the, at the place where it all started on, in uh, 2003 with the water, Lake Superior. And then a ceremony will be done with the, with the salt water to converge the salt water with the, with the fresh water of Lake Superior. So that's what's going to be happening. One of the one of the main the main uh, message that we want to bring is the collective consciousness of people about water, and to know that water is, is sacred in terms of how how we look at water and how we we see water. That it is not for sale. It's not for uh, uh, you, you have to think about how how you use water and how you take care of the water yourself. So the Hopefully that we can all be of, of the same mind, same heart about the water with this water walk and hopefully that it'll, it'll spread all over the world in terms of how, how water is going to be so precious in, 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 in a matter of uh, a few years, never mind how, how water is slowly, slowly uh, being depleted. And can you tell us about the role of women with water? Women are um, life givers, and, and uh, when we when we think about uh, water, we we know that birth birthing comes from water, and when a woman carries life within her, she she carries that water water within her, and life comes through that. And when in the spring, when when the water breaks, Mother Earth also does the same thing. She gives birth to to new life, and the same with a woman when she carries birth that she's. With the water coming, she, we know that water. The water tells us that life will come soon. So a, a baby is birthed after the water breaks. So we're in we're in connection with our mother, the earth. When we when we think of the water, if we didn't have water, we wouldn't have life. And the same token that uh, if if water is all gone, then we we wouldn't the, the earth would would die. Everybody would die. We'd we'd be without water. And in the same same breath that we also think about plastic, that if 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 the earth if the earth is wrapped in plastic, it's going to die. Same with the water, and in the same sense that when water is put in plastic bottles, the water is not fit to drink. It, it the water is dead. It dies. It turns to mold, and then all kinds of other other chemicals are developed in that water. So there's many things about water that we really need to to be thinking about and telling people about. How to care for the water and uh, and to give the give it give it the the songs that it needs the prayers and the and the tobacco that it really needs to to be honored in terms of how how it hears you it's it, it can speak to you and it has it has feelings also. And you said you've been doing this since two thousand and three, and how did it all begin? In 2000, well, it didn't start in 2003. The idea came in the year 2000, when uh, when our grand chief Eddie Benton Benet talked about the water that it was going to cost as much as an ounce of gold. An ounce of water is going to cost as as much as an ounce of gold if we continue with our negligence. And in that in that word, with that little word of if we continue with our negligence, turn that over, turn that upside down, and, and if we discontinue with our negligence, things can, things can change. And so that in 2003 when we started walking Lake Superior, that was the idea that we wanted to change the, the minds of people that if they discontinue with the negligence of the water that they're, they're, they're changing the, the attitudes, they're changing their own attitudes about the water. And so we, we want to bring that message again. Uh, collectively this time throughout the, not only North America but all over other Americas and in the in the world that we want to to raise consciousness about the water how precious it is that we really need to take care of it no matter how much how little we have or how much we have
And how did you just you become the voice of this whole uh, campaign of going out there and walking around the water? I think being the voice about the water is not by choice. It is something that I believe the spirit has been given to 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 the person that I am in terms of uh, my spirit name, which is Bidasuge. That uh, that idea that uh, when when some when a spirit when the spirit comes to you. You honor it, and you and you do what 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 is required from the spirit, and I sincerely believe that that is what happened when, when when the when the question was raised to, to to the people, when when the grand chief said, "What are you going to do about it?" And of course, you know, it it hits you, and it and it, the spirit is already already within you and saying, "What are you going to do about it?" And so that that's how that's how it has it has come to be. But it's not my choice. It just it just happened to be that way. And do you have a website where people can go to help get involved with the walk? We have the Mother Earth Water Walk dot com website, which is up and running. And we also have Facebook, which is uh, Water Walk Twenty Eleven on Facebook. Okay. And is there any other message you'd like to leave with our audience today before we go? Well, I think one of the, the best messages that I would like to say is that if people could could understand about the water and, and raise awareness about the preciousness of the water, and when they hear of the water walkers coming their way, that they support them in whatever way they can. And uh, most often it is we're tired and we're, we really need to, need to rest for the night. If they could provide uh, accommodations for us, a place where we could rest for the night. And of course, food and you know, some some place that we could we could have a good meal, because when we walk, we walk early in the morning, three o'clock. We get up, and we're on the road by three thirty, four o'clock, and we walk all day until the the sun goes down. And so it's it's a very uh, uh, it's a very uh, spiritual walk, and it's 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 something that we really want to. To walk the talk about the water, and so if, if people would get the message that it's all for the water, it's not for us. It's it's all about the water and for the future of the children, and those that have yet to come who who will want to, who will see the water the way we're seeing it, how beautiful it is, that they can see that in the next generation, seven times seven generations. You know how many miles total you guys are walking? <clears throat> miles. Oh boy, how many miles? Ten million. Well, there was steps. steps. Over well, ten million four hundred thousand steps. Ten million four hundred thousand steps. Wow. I don't know how much that is in miles. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's great what you guys are doing, and I wish you all the luck and. Um, Look forward to hearing more about the walk as you guys are out there and on there. And hopefully we can catch up with you, okay? Thank you. We'll be in Wisconsin. Follow our uh, our path. Great. Look forward to seeing you. Okay. Thank you. And that's the latest roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me. And have a grand day.